Imagine Apple is going to launch iPhone 15. So Apple's users, how are they going to get notified about that? So one way is for the users to constantly check Apple's website and check if there has been a new iPhone or they can simply get email notification by Apple itself about a new iPhone product. So this is one example of an observer pattern in programming. So in this case, the observers are the Apple users and uh, there is something called subject. So in this case, subject is iPhone 15. And in case of observer pattern, the subject notifies the observer about the change of its state. So now let's get more hands on. Observer pattern is a software design pattern in which there is something called subject that maintains a list of dependents called observers and it notifies them automatically of any state changes by calling one of their methods. So imagine there is Apple and its users. So if Apple is launching a new product, let's say iPhone 15, and there are users who would like to get notified about the launch date or whenever that is going to be launched. So our Apple's iPhone can be a subject here and the users are equivalent to observers. So when there is any change of the state of this subject, so which means iPhone 15 went from not being released to released. So that was a state change of iPhone. So in that case, what can happen is that Apple can notify these observers by calling one of their methods. So this is an equivalent example of what observer pattern means. And I'm going to show you a simple Go example of that. Okay, so in this example, I have this struct called subject, where the subject can be Apple or iPhone 15. And as you can see here, the subject maintains a list of its dependents called observers. So this struct has some number of observers and there is something called state. So the state can be anything. In this case, for, a, for simplicity, let's say it's whether the iPhone 15 is launched or not. So zero or one essentially. And this subject struct has a couple of uh, helper functions. So one is uh, one function here is called attach through which you are attaching a new observer to the list of observers. And it has this function called change state where it is actually changing uh, this state here. So for example, let's say marking iPhone 15 from unreleased to released. And once the, there is state change, then we need to notify the observers. So in this case, it is going over all the observers and simply notifying them by using this function called update. Okay, so now we will go into what an observer looks like. So observer in this case is like an interface which has this update function. So you are updating the state, uh, whichever state the observers are interested in. So a concrete implementation of observer is this struct where it just has this ID. And this update function uh, in this case is just that this is, there is this print, print function where uh, observer with a particular ID has received the state update and it will just print it. So this is a setup. This is a typical setup of an observer pattern. And here in the main function, what I'm doing is we are initializing a subject and we are initializing two observers. Then we are attaching those two observers and we are notifying of the state change. So in this case, both of these observers will be notified of any state change. So in this case, the state went from zero, which is the default value to one. So if I run the program, we'll see here as expected, observer one received state, state update, observer two received state update. So this is equivalently saying that, yeah, um, Apple user one received the update that uh, iPhone 15 has been launched and so on for all the other users. So this is kind of similar to the another pattern called publisher subscriber pattern. In future, I will make another video to specify what exactly publisher subscriber pattern is. One of the key differences is that there is more tight coupling between this subject and observers in the observer pattern. And in case of publisher subscriber pattern, there is a bit of loose coupling. So to give a real world example, uh, here we are in this Go Ethereum project, which is uh, 
the node software of uh, Ethereum blockchain. And here we have something called transaction pool. And here this has this element called subs through which uh, it is subscribing to new transaction events. So that subscription happens here. So on this transaction pool, there is this um, function called subscribe new transaction event. And here each of these sub pools are subscribing to new transactions. So whenever there is any new transaction update, then it is kind of like this sub pool is kind of like observing uh, if there is a new transaction and then it will do whatever steps are necessary after it receives a new transaction. So this is and both an example of an observer pattern as well as a publisher subscriber pattern. So this was a very quick overview of uh, observer pattern. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to write now. Thanks.